Hi, I'm Josh Miller, Vice President of Sales here at Keystone RV, and I'm here with Mark Bullock, our Senior Vice President of Engineering. We're here in the engineering lab to talk about the Blade High Performance Airflow System that we've developed. Now, this system is really cool because over the years, we've made a ton of advancements as an industry with regard to air conditioners, but we haven't addressed the need to get that cold air out through the coach. Mark's team has done a tremendous amount of work to work on the airflow system. Let's go take a look at it. Yeah, let's do it. Well, as we said, we are utilizing the best air conditioners on the market today. And those air conditioners are gonna meet the needs to customers in a variety of different environments. But the, the cold air that those air conditioners are providing, the challenge we have is to make sure that that air properly gets down into our ductwork and then out into the coach. And we've, we've addressed that with a couple huge advancements to the industry. Mark's team's worked on ways to get the airflow down and into the ductwork, transfer efficiently through the ductwork, and then out into the coach. And we're gonna talk about each one of those sections. So Mark, let's start with the way that the air is getting down from the air conditioner down into the ductwork. We've made a couple of enhancements in this area, haven't we? Yeah, what we've done is uh, we've developed a sleeve, what we call a sleeve, that goes around the entire vent opening where the air conditioner sits on top here. And that air gets pushed down into this cavity. So a continuous sleeve all the way around there minimizes taping and to get a nice tight seal in this vent area. Yeah, so you can definitely see that when the AC is mounted on top there, there's, there's no gaps, there's no uh, minimal taping to be able to enclose that area. So we're making sure that 100% of the air that comes out of the air conditioner is getting out into the ductwork and not potentially getting out into the, 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 the roof cavity. It looks like we've got some then plastic parts that join all this together and that's an enhancement as well, isn't it Mark? Yes, this uh, piece here is called a duct inlet and it allows us to uh, connect the elbow or our T into the duct system and also create a nice tight joint there where there again there's no air that's escaping from it. Yeah, that's the biggest thing with these air conditioners is that they're working so hard to put that cold air into the unit. We don't want to lose any of it into this cavity that's in the in the roof portion. So let's go to the next step then, Mark, because we've done all this work to make sure all the air is getting into the ductwork. One of the challenges is to force all that air down through the ductwork. And we've made a pretty good enhancement on the way that we're doing that with these Ys, haven't we? Yes, we have. So uh, industry standard type of an elbow or a T would be a, uh, the same size inlet on both sides where it's tied into our vent box and then also into the duct run. What we've done is we've gone from that industry standard style to a duct inlet side that's 50% larger than what the outlet side of it is. This allows the air that's coming in from the air conditioner system to more easily enter the duct system and move more air into our system. Yeah. So Mark, we've talked about how to get all that cold air down into the ductwork. Um, now, as we get the cold air into the ductwork, we're using this um, super efficient um, insulated material to transfer the hot air or cold air down, excuse me. Um, but with this material, one of the challenges is to join that ductwork together in that roof cavity. And we've addressed that in a big way, haven't we? Yeah, these, these sections come in and normally they're about eight feet long and we have to join them. And uh, the prior to, we might have just uh, butted these together and taped them. But now we have what we call a duct joiner, which we can put into our duct system here and then tape around that, much more efficient, much tighter seal than what we get today. Yeah, so similar to some of the other stuff we talked about, we're making sure that we're getting a nice tight seal, um, minimizing the amount of tape that's being relied upon to keep that cold air from escaping into that cavity. And this does that perfectly. Yes. The other thing, if I understand right, Mark, is at the end of the, the, the duct runs, at times we would just very inefficiently collapse those, but that creates some air disturbance that actually restricts airflow. We've done a way to really cleanly cap those off and, and keep that airflow moving throughout the duct, haven't we? Yes, we have. Uh, and we call it an end plug, and it allows us to be able to keep the duct the same size. It doesn't get crushed at the end. We don't see substandard performance as a result of that. It's basically uh, a piece with just a total block on the end of it. We can insert into the duct system and tape closed. And again, we get a nice tight seal, no air loss. That's awesome. So between what we've done with the sleeve, um, the reducing Y, and then all the enhancements to the way we're, we're joining the ducts, we're getting a tremendous amount of that, that airflow down through these ducts. Now we got to get it out into the unit. 
So we've addressed that as well and made a huge advancement with the diffusers that are pushing that air out into the coach, haven't we? Yes, we have. We've developed a new air diffuser uh, that uh, um, we're really proud of that, that represents a big advancement in our opinion over what we've had in the past. Yep. So uh, would you like me to talk about it? Yeah. Okay. So uh, it's called the uh, Blade Air Diffuser and it's got some nice features. It's got a classic look um, and it promotes a few important things here. It distributes air in a 360 degree pattern uh, where uh, previous vents would be very directional um, and would blow air in one direction. This particular vent blows air out along the ceiling cavity and then it falls throughout our trailer, promoting a much more even temperature throughout the entire trailer. Uh, and you get air coming out of the entire vent. If you put your hand up to it, you may not feel a lot of air right here, but if you put your hand next to the ceiling, you'll feel a lot of air pushing out along your ceiling cavity or your ceiling panel. And then that air, that cool air falls. And then the warm air rises, you get natural convection operating throughout the unit. It eliminates hot and cold spots inside your trailer and a more even temperature throughout. Yeah. That was kind of the drawback of the old style, right? Because I could position that to one particular spot inside the unit, but then really that spot was going to get cold, but then everything in the surrounding area, probably not as much. This eliminates that completely. Yes. Right. Yeah. yeah, you'd get a very cold spot or it could be uncomfortable if you were sitting in an area where that was blowing right on you or if it wasn't blowing on you, you got too hot, right? This allows that air to be very evenly uh, cooled throughout the entire trailer. Yep. One of the other benefits I think we've found is that the directional ones, a lot of times in our fifth wheels, are just too darn high for people to actually to reach up and, and adjust mm -hmm. anyway. So that uncomfortable spot that Mark was talking about, you really would have little to no way to be able to adjust it. So this, uh, this accomplishes a ton of things for us with the air conditioning system. We went through a ton of cool stuff. Mark, let's head in a unit and let's check this out in real world application. Let's do it. Well, Mark and I are in one of our units that's utilizing the new blade system. I think this is a great opportunity for us to show the part that uh, your customers are gonna be able to see, feel, and touch, which is the, the diffuser. So, Mark, let's talk a little bit about, first, how this thing installs, because similar to some of the other components we talked about, we're trying to reduce tape and reduce the, the airflow loss that, that can happen through the system. And we've accomplished both of those things with this, haven't we? Yeah, we really have. This uh, particular collar for the vent system, or the vent diffuser, uh, installs through our ceiling panel and up into the duct material. And this collar that we have on the part here actually bridges the gap between the ceiling panel and our duct and eliminates all tape at this particular location. And we get a solid tight seal with no possibility of error escaping. That's awesome. So again, we're maximizing the system to make sure that every bit of usable cold air is going to be coming out to the customer's use. So with the diffuser itself, we talked a little bit about how it's going to disperse it. This will give a good shot of how that is accomplished. But then it's also adjustable, and there's a, there's a reasoning behind the reason that it's adjustable, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, one other way that we wanted to look at how to enhance the system was to uh, encourage the air or get the air to escape or leave the duct system and out into our trailer through our vents. And we actually consulted with a uh, PhD in fluid mechanics to develop this portion of it. And what uh, he came up with was a blade system, which as you can see, this would be your duct material right here. And this blade sticks up into that cavity and allows the customer to be able to orient that a little bit. And you can adjust the amount of airflow that you're getting. But if you, if you point it in the direction of the air conditioner, you get the most efficiency for this particular vent location and you get the air actually wanting to leave our duct cavity rather than just staying inside the duct system. Well, Mark, that's cool. And I'm sure that people wanted to know where we got the name Blade from and that kind of answers that question. The one question I don't think we answered with that though is for customers, you talked about being able to orient it in the, the right spot to maximize airflow. How's a customer going to know which way to, to orient it? Okay, so uh, we've aligned the uh, blade itself, the blade feature itself, with the name blade on the disc on the bottom side and the exposed side inside the trailer here. And what you do is you orient that blade name towards the air conditioner, which in our case here is forward of us. So you would install this with that blade in this orientation here, which puts that air up over the edge of the blade and helps promote the air moving out and into our trailer. Yeah. That's awesome. And that having that name on there is going to be super easy for your customers to be able to know which way to, to orient it. So yeah. 
Well, Mark, awesome job by your team. I think we've addressed a, a, a ton of spots that are that would potentially have airflow loss, and we've made enhancements all the way down through that ductwork system. Great work, and we hope to see you soon.